What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, we must put the clown makeup on once again because we are here to discuss Bloodborne coming back in some way. Now, here's the deal. Here's what I honestly want to start this video off by saying to whoever's watching. I do think Bloodborne returns. That That is maybe like the most annoying part of all of these rumors, right? Because we have had just years and years and years of remake, remaster, Bloodborne 2, what's Sony doing with the, you know, the IP, with the rights uh, from software, you know, would they do it, would they not? We've had so many of these kind of conversations, and I mean, a lot of it has just been BS, it's just been a lot of people, or not even, okay, I mean, you can have fun kind of conversations, right? There's been some people that have flat out lied, right, insiders that have just gotten it wrong, uh, and then there's also just been a lot of speculation, but I think what is kind of so frustrating about it is it is such a big game that we know, and now we actually we know more than ever, is that the Insomniac leaks, Bloodborne did incredibly well, okay? And we've always known that. Bloodborne was a very well-selling game. It sold PS4s back. Like, it literally pushed consoles. Not as well, maybe, as, like, say, Spider-Man, but it actually contributed to people buying a PlayStation just to play this game. So it has a lot of power. So the frustrating thing is it will come back. There's absolutely no way Sony, you could say that, I guess, maybe I should try to catch myself. Sony has let franchises die before, but to be honest with you, and I'm a defender of bringing Sly Cooper back. I talk about that like every other day. Sly, Resistance, Infamous, uh, Killzone, you know, these kind of franchises. But a lot of them actually are not major sellers. Like, Sly was never really that big of a sell. I mean, it would do like a million each time. Resistance always bombed. Killzone did pretty darn good. So Infamous did really well. Infamous is probably the most baffling that they've let, of that group, that they've let just go. Because those games always sold really well, and then they kind of just stopped it. Uh, whether it was for Ghost of Tsushima or not. Bloodborne you know, is another one that you can kind of lump in of, like, these franchises that Sony has, for whatever reason, just left. But I, I think it's different because I think it's more powerful. I think it's literally just a bigger seller than a, really anything else that I've just said. Kill, Killzone, Infamous, any of them, I think this game is more. So here we go. We have another rumor. And, and, and I saw the beginning of this rumor, but I actually didn't see it through to the end. So it was one insider basically talking about that there was a Bloodborne thing happening for PC and PS5. And I actually saw that part that was going around the internet that, that he was talking about that. But then the user, I'm a hero too, who goes on head on the block and he's pretty okay. Now he hasn't done too many rumors that have actually come true. Okay. I think he leaked Persona 3 Reload and he has leaked other other stuff and, and, and some stuff even persona wise hasn't come true yet because nothing's happened there so a lot of his rumors his, his more recent ones were kind of like in a wait and see they could all be wrong but we haven't you know had evidence to show they're wrong but we also haven't had evidence to show that it's right so he comes in and he says it's on the docket planning stages but it won't hit ps5 we can talk in private blue point had the job only in planning stages it was their next project but it could be with another studio now regardless it's a ps6 game it's not happening on ps5 that ship has sailed the game was ported to pc at some point and sony sat on it for multiple reasons now again like lance mcdonald right like there's been a lot of great work to show that bloodborne can work should work you know will work on pc there's been a lot of that. And again, this is like going back years and years and years. Will Bloodborne ever come to PC? I think it does. And it's why it's funny, you know, to put the clown makeup on. One day you won't have to. One day it literally will happen. It's just we've heard maybe, and I'm, I'm, I always exaggerate. That's just like kind of a part of my personality for whatever reason. But honestly, probably in the last three, four years, we've heard it 10 plus times. 10 plus, I, I would say that's very, very conservative of an estimate. We've probably heard 10 plus rumors in the last, you know, three, four, five years that the game was coming to PC, that it was getting a remaster, it was getting a remake, there's a Bloodborne 2, all of this stuff. We've heard it so much. One day it will happen, but it, it has become a meme at this point where somebody will leak something for PlayStation and then others will say, oh, they didn't mention Bloodborne, the leak must be true. Because it's, be it's become such a thing where it's like if you put a Bloodborne rumor on any prediction or leak or whatever, you lose all credibility. You, you can't be taken seriously because you put Bloodborne. And it's sad. It's actually very, very sad. But I, I, I understand it. I get it because that is where we're at. That is where we're at in a, as a society in the Bloodborne, say, community. So um, is it going to come out on, on PS6? I, I don't know. Honest, honestly, I guess that makes sense. You know, we're, we're now in year four of the PS5 being uh, out, you know, 2020. So you know, I guess it'll be four years uh, this upcoming November. 
we only have a few years left. Like, and that's what's so wild about it. You know, I've talked about that too, even like on Twitter and stuff. We only got like three more years, um, probably I would say to be safe as an estimate for the PS5. 2028, so, you know, four and a half years from now, let's say, is when the PS6 would come out. So, yeah, unless it's been in the works for a while, unless it comes out, say, in two years from now or whatever, then it's it's it has to be, it's either a PS6 game or it's not at all. Now, you could put it on PC and then do PS6, you know, down the road. So there you go. There's the newest rumor. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine if it's actually true. Again, one day it will be true. Is this one true? It's, I think, much like all of these, it is kind of 50-50. Like, one of these insiders, one of these times is going to be right. And, and and really, maybe all of them were right. You know, like, if you look back and say, oh, well, maybe they had canceled it or, you know, whatever. A lot of them might have been right. But until that happens, you know, it, it just has a very bad look, I think, to a lot of people. So let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.